Hello everybody, welcome in. We're doing some more Sims building today. And I'm working on this thing. Um I don't know exactly what I want to do with this front area. It's kind of bothering me. So I'm going to mess with it a little bit, see if I can't get it more like what I would like it to be. What if I did... Where's that big vampire fence? Like that. And then... Planted this there. Why is it floating? Okay. Let's defloatify it. Okay, and, oops, Bruce redeemed another useless fact. Medical errors are the sixth leading cause of death, good lord, in the U.S. Um, why are elevator jokes so classic and good? They work on many levels. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now to make this work the way I want it to, I'm going to have to use this all the way around the estate. Okay, let's take it this way. Part of me is tempted to use this instead. Uh, but it doesn't look good with that. Okay.
S needs to be one bigger. there. You flatten this a little. I don't want to put that there. What if I do that? Just plop that right there. Um, thank you for deleting that for me, game. This, um, Welcome in. Enjoy your lurk. Um, let's see if I can't get that to look better. Just flatten that there. Oops. That's not helpful. I mean, it looks like a driveway. Okay. Uh, this guy. kind of want to try to do some sort of garden bed along here. What sort of hedges do we have? Is 
this is possible. that one. There's this. Looks a little bit less manicured, which I do like. Um, that's even wilder. Oh, there's this one. could be easily sized down so it didn't overwhelm everything. I do want to use ivy of some sort on that wall. doing weird things. Stop, game. Ugh, I need better lighting. So I can see what I'm doing. I need to find the item that goes with this. That's what I need to find. I'll set it out there so I can... Unkempt shrubbery, yes. Um, nope. More unkempt shrubberies. 
Nope. Okay. I think I want this hedge. Actually, let me see what this one looks like. Shrunk down. No, I want this one. Jumping up and down. Now the question is, can I get it to work over here? Without floating horribly? <laughs> it's floating horribly. I'll have to Darn it. Come on. Can I put it on the outside of the wall? I mean, it doesn't look wrong. If I shrink it, can I just get it on the outside of the fence? Mr. Annoying, come back. There I go. Shrink one. over you scoot over you're already over then this one doesn't have to overlap quite so much
and this one needs to come out here. All right. All right, let me see if I can figure out it's going to be live edit. the ruins stuff forest bridge I gotta figure out what that goes with Not this. Shrink it down one. No. All right. Hey, Smokey, how are you doing? Okay. Hey, Crypt. It's good to see you. Alright, so we have some weird ass shrubberies. Those have different colors. No. Darn. Well, Smokey, see what happened is. <sighs> Let me go back in time a little bit. The build that I put together in Strangerville the other day. Is a different build. It's a different, it's the same floor plan, but it's slightly different uh, proportions. And one, it didn't fit on the lot, and two, I didn't think it looked all that Victorian. So, I got frustrated. 
and I basically bulldozed it and decided because I didn't I wasn't a fan of how how weird this ended up being for some reason I'm not sure why it just didn't do it for me so and then this down here just ended up being strange so I decided I was going to start completely over at about 5 a.m. yesterday morning and I went into Copperdale and I built this one um, it's slightly smaller in scale and it's pretty darn cool looking okay hold on this is sticking into the house which I do not appreciate game why does it have to go up above that hold on what if I put it up here like that might work then it wouldn't be sticking in the wall as much oops not that and this one no down just there and there this guy needs to come over some so does this one. Uh anyways, what I was uh what I was saying is I rebuilt the whole thing. And this is what I've come up with. Um it's much more Victorian. Um the roofing is a lot better. And I really enjoy the way I use the black and the uh, and the red on the outside. I don't think the green was working for me at all. Oops, I forgot. This has to move because I moved that piece. That's okay though. We'll fix it. You go back where you're supposed to be. Okay, all fixed. But yeah, this roof is better than the other one in many ways, personally. And I really like this screened porch that I came up with. I think it looks very nice. Um, I have done a little work on this off screen on the inside and of course I did the terrain work to make this thing work out um, except for clearly I forgot to get all the way to the edge did I get this one yeah I did so I'll show you what I have on the inside and I did some custom floorings um, a la Hi Hello Rachel and I think they look spot on I, I particularly like this kitchen one because if you use either this one or this one by itself they don't look right 
but together I love it and I've started on our kitchen I at least have things where they go um I feel like I need something there, but the outside freeze messes with it. So I don't know what to do. Because I don't like this weird line. But I may be stuck with it. Like, it's a little bit hidden here. It doesn't bother me as much. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to do another one of these. What if I put this over here? Oops. There we go. I changed the wallpaper in here. Yeah, that makes it a little bit better. Uh... I don't know why that copied with it, but apparently it did. Yeah, that's better. Um, kind of... What if I did... This... in white... here. With these, again... in white on the edges just to delineate the rooms a little bit maybe okay I like that idea sort of with me. This. Can go there. Then. Nope, oh, this one. Standard half wall. Here. Give me the trim. Uh, no, I don't want the drywall. And... Then... Doesn't matter which wall I choose. Take... And give me this. No. I know what I did wrong there. I know why it looks weird. It needs to go like that. Then this on this side. 
this here. These on this side. And then one of the things we have to have in this build is a full bar. And I want to use this. And put it Okay, bear with me. Uh, and then the other side can be this one. Do I have that backwards? I do. No. It just doesn't quite go to the edge of this. That's weird. Does it look okay though? Hmm. This needs to move. I need this window here and scoot over smidge same with these guys They don't look right. Okay. Go back to the way you're supposed to be. Alright. Um. Yeah, I don't know why that thing copied either. It's just kind of weird. But. Whatever. It can copy if it wants to. Um, now I want bar stools. I still haven't decided a hundred percent if I like these. Because I could easily do something else. Do these have black ones? They do.
Too much. That's better, actually. And there is this to match. Coffee table. Maybe. That's a maybe. Does this one have a... No. Nope. No. What about... Okay, the marble one's not bad. That's terrible. No. Does this have a black? It does, but I don't like it. I think this marble one is talking to me. Especially if I pair it with... Where'd it go? This. That's just too much information on the floor. Um, no, that's too big when you upsize it. Too much. What about this? Especially if I slide it back that way. No, it doesn't fit right. However, it might go quite nicely in here. There's this one. Colors do we have? Oh, that hurts my eyes. That one's okay. 
That's better. No. Need this fella right there. these in here somewhere. I'll have to decide which one though. And no ducks. No ducks. Could do this somewhere and this. Well, it's going to go somewhere at least. Maybe not in here, but it's going to go somewhere. And you as well. However, that's not what I was looking for right this second. I want... This guy. Really? It doesn't sit on top of the mantelpiece? Does this? Well, you know what? You're gonna sit on the mantelpiece. What if I... Make it bigger. Does it float? No, it does not. That should go in here someplace. I think all these should go out in the sculpture, in a, like a sculpture garden. Do, 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 do. This will need a pedestal somewhere. This.
this somewhere. This actually looks like it could go with these guys. I mean, it could. Maybe. What other weird things do we need? can go out here this can go in here do 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 you out here out here um out here somewhere Does this thing have... Yes, it does. Very nice. There you go. Um, we're just throwing stuff out here right now. I can't guarantee I'm going to use any of it. However... We'll put it out here anyway. Um, nope. Oh, do, 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 do. That could easily go outside somewhere. Nope. That's kind of cool. So is that. No. This. Could go out front. But then again, it doesn't have to. That maybe.
And I need... Where are the little pedestals? Don't they... Come separately? I thought they did. You know what? I'm just gonna grab... These this way. Because then I know where the pedestals are. Anything else that makes a good garden sculpture? Probably not all the way back here. These could go in here. goes in the garage. I might be able to do something with this. could be wrong, but that looks like the Beauty and the Beast rose. And it looks so cute. Mm -hmm. We'll deal with kitchen clutter later. Driftwood Fort. Okay. the heck is that? If only this had different colors. Gosh darn it all. All right, well, I have a, quite a collection of stuff down here. What is that? Art sculpture? Doesn't look like art to me, but all right, each to his own. about you up here you up here um, I want this in this room Trying to think how I want to set this up.
That's kind of cute. Especially if I change... it to be just that without the little money things. You come out here. Then I need this to go with this. In total, there are 205 bones in the skeleton of a horse. Yep, they're missing one. No, I do not remember which one it is. Because there are 206 bones in the skeleton of a human. I don't think I've ever used that before, and for some reason, I really feel the need to use it in this build. lost what I was going for. This guy. Too tall. Or at least the start of a pantry. style of that for that particular room.
actually put this over here? Why did they use a loop of Beethoven's Ninth for the wedding pack? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Why did they do a lot of things in the wedding pack? It sounds like Christmas. Yeah, it does not sound like wedding music. It sounds like Christmas music. You're right. You're not wrong. Do, 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 do. Vintage decorative shelf. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. Vintage display dresser. Oh, can I get this to sit in there without floating? I don't know. Is it floating? Yes. I bring it down. The bottom is through the thing, but do we mind? I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Pet peeve, yeah. It, it doesn't need to sound like Christmas. You are exactly correct on that. Um, what other goodies did we get that I didn't know about? That was a reference in there. Um. I mean, I could stick this here. Why is it floating? Or is it? No, it's not. It just looked like it was floating. That's weird. I don't know why it looked like it was floating. Um... Sideboard. This is kind of cool. Question is, what's in it? books. What if I put you in here? Big sad doesn't go on there. Um, this could go in the garage. Do, 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 do.
No, where is it? Are you telling me those won't go on there? That's annoying. How about... Not that. This guy. Got to be kidding me. Stop being weird. Come on. Fine. There we go. What if I did another one over here? Same height? Nope. Woo! Mysterious floating candles. this over a little I really like the way this looks I don't know why I just think it looks really cool Is it from there? One, two, okay. From there, one, two. kind of looks kind of spooky and I kind of dig it okay I want to put this here looks like Vlad's place well is there anything wrong with looking like Vlad's place I'm not sure there is. Let's do that there. I'm going to put you out there. And I know exactly the plant I want to put in you. If I could find it... This can go out here too. 
not right there, but it'll go out there somewhere. So will this little guy... Oh. Where's the... I must have gone past it. Hmm. He has a lot of red stuff. Yeah, I can see that. I don't think I've done much with his uh, house before. Really, it has to be this one? Really? That's atrocious. There's this, but I don't... I always forget how big that is. There we go.
Hmm. No, I can't see going with those. I need to put... Um... these here and one here oh conversation area with a table in between that might be difficult but we're going to find one nope You sit there for a second. I need a coffee table. Time when you need a huge coffee table and you can't find one. When all we have is huge coffee tables. Too rustic. Octagon one? That might work. Yeah. Good idea. I hadn't thought about that. You scoot over. I want that there. Or it could this one? Um, too bad there isn't. Is, there is a black one. No. This looks better. This is more a sitting room than a room to spend time in, if that makes any sense. And I want to put this here. And this here. What about Oh, stop jumping around. I don't think that's in the middle. Now it is. Instead of that, I want, where 
is it? Could be this. Do those hang too low? What about if I turn it around? Nope, don't like him. Okay. I need... I know which one will work. Same thing over here. Just for lighting. look so awful compared to the ones that are actually candles. Could do that. There's also this. Hmm. Just love when my game freeze is trying to upload to the gallery. Oh yeah. Mine does that too. one do we like better? The single or the double? I think I like the double better. Weirdly enough. Anytime it freezes, it's pretty much crap. shouldn't put this on top of this instead. Does it float is the question. No. I mean, it doesn't look bad in here. Okay, I need... Blah! Um... This... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do... One. 
We'll leave that there. Put this up here. Actually, you know what? It could go on this shelf. This goes better up here. Put this there. Or should I do this? I think the, uh... This one looks fancier. Yeah, let's do that one. Always put this one in the kitchen. But again, this does not have to be functional. I have a strange idea, so bear with me. Oh, you can't take rugs off the floor. Well, that takes care of that idea. I was gonna put a rug there. Yep. Nope. Hmm. If I use that in there or another color of it. Like that. That looks nice. But this does not then. That looks out of place anyway, so I'll put him there. Do, 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 do.
I thought there was one without arms too. That's annoying. Honestly, I like these better. Where's the chair that matches? That's not it. Ooh, I like that better. Hold on, let me see. Nope. Why you no have pretty chair? Okay, that's the one we're going with. Perhaps. <laughs> Unless. Wait a second. This matches the rug. But not the table. What if I did... A different table. Not my color scheme, not one I would pick, but it's pretty cool anyway. I mean, it looks okay. Thank you for the sub, Red Fox. Been friends for so long. Yeah, it's been a good time. Let's get these candles up on the walls. And put one over here. I have enjoyed every second just the same. Let's see. That doesn't look too bad. This, however, has got to go. Um, I need a proper chandelier in here. I'm thinking this one. Because, hello, game.
Maybe? That looks silly. Then again, that one looks silly in every build. There's this one. Oh, that's a tough choice. What other colors does this have? Goodbye, fancy vampire chandelier. Okay, this has to go in the middle of the room. Nope. Um, candles, candles, candles. Nope. Glass, wax, and wood. That might work. Wait, 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 I know. Where's that new one? This one. Too fancy? Is there such a thing as too fancy for this particular house? Hmm. Made myself some oat flour pancakes for dinner. That sounds really good, actually. There's also... Ooh. Okay, so we have choices. No, we're not going with the pirate lamp. Um... Any other choices that are possible? This one... Yeah, that's possible. Especially with the red, yeah. Okay, I think we can knock out the Christmas ones, because that's just, no. Which red, the tall red or the flower red? The tall red. Let's see what it looks like if I put one on either side. And get rid of this. I could always put something else in the middle. That goes in the middle of the table. Throw. I think that's kind of classy. I think you're right. Ah! Stupid thing. Let's see what else we could put in the middle of the table. Wheelbarrow. Yeah, great idea. Sarcasm. There's only one thing I can't deal with, and that's the deck of cards glued together. Really? Um, mm -hmm. We could put a vampire squid in the middle of the table. Or a bat. No, no bats. No blades, no bows. Leave your weapons here. Um... Hold on. No, nope, it doesn't scale. Okay. Heck with you. Back inside. 
Um, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. What goes in the middle of a table? None of this stuff, that's for sure. Anybody have any grand ideas? Um, obviously the debug stuff is probably all going to be no's. Plant, maybe. We could do one of these toppers. Um, hot air balloon? <laughs> what about these? They come in... That's actually not a terrible idea. What if I did that? That's actually kind of cute. There's this. Hmm. <laughs> no. Um, sand pile. Yay. Metallic stars. No. I don't know, I kind of like the heart idea. Put bugs in the middle of the table. Butterflies. No. Just no. Um, froggies. You know what? These feathers might be a good option for in here. I just thought of that. What if I did a whole, the whole collection of feathers in here? This is the study. I think the rest are further down. That's a pigeon. Yeah. Okay, pigeon, seagull, inch, cardinal, heron. We'll obviously rearrange them. Blue jay, pheasant. I don't remember how many of them there are. Puffin, parrot, is that all the feathers? Hold on, I'm just going to type in feather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Oh, let's do a save. Because I don't want to lose everything I've done today. I don't think I've saved. Or had hydrate. It does what come in other colors? The hearts? It's silver. Black. And rainbow. Well, we've got this one. Silver, bronze, white, black, and rainbow. I think the gold looks the best. It would be nice if it had red. But that may be asking too much. You didn't know they existed until you built the Hobbit house? I don't remember who showed me that, um, that those were a thing. I really don't. 
Um, this needs to go in the mud room. We back over here. Not what I'm looking for. I want. Can I find them? The other question is, are they actually in this particular setting? We could do that. I hardly ever use that. Doesn't mean I'm going to use it, but... Fountain, captain's wheel... Maybe in the other sort. Yeah, I think it is. Hold on. This one? Um, what if I put that wall bigger? And hung it up there. Nope, it needs to be that one. Okay. <laughs> I have to figure out where I was. Uh, uh, um. Decorations, wall stuff. It was down here. Juice, 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 juice. There we go. And stick that right there. That's a tough call. Ooh! Prism Oracle. Let me grab those out. And we'll do another save. And while I do that, we'll pop out here so you guys can see the actual the house. Here's the actual house. I think it turned out okay. Yes, there are lots of new redeems. Do you want a vacation in this house? Yeah. And it came with a story. Basically the whole prompt of this one here. Let me put it in chat. TS4 Builder Game 3. So they gave us three floor plans and we had to pick them absolutely blindly. Two of them were one story plans and I took one look at them and was like, I don't like the plan. And then the third was a t was this two story plan. I didn't realize how massive it was until I started building it. So, yeah. And then after we picked, then we got the background for the build. So, let me switch over to chatting real quick. And we're going to do this oracle reading with these fun cards. There we go. So, had a death in your legacy family. You're going to go so you can concentrate. Have a great rest of your stream. You take care of yourself, Madam Nordica, and thank you very much for stopping by. It was good to see you. Let me shuffle.
Now this, how this works is I draw three cards. One tells you the energy that is leaving. One tells you your present energy. And the third is what's coming out of, or what's coming, basically. Okay, let's cut the deck. I probably should have a camera showing what I'm actually doing, but yeah. Okay, so your first card is strength. And these relate colors to emotions, basically. Your second is consciousness, which is a little bit weird. And I didn't like that with the green screen, but whatever. And your last is energy. That's a really cool one. Let me grab, put the other cards away so they don't disappear on me. And the guidebook. It's kind of interesting that you got two uh, red-orange cards. Okay. Actually, I think strength is... I think they're both orange cards. Nope, one's red. It's hard to tell. There's strength. Strength, this is your first card. And it's a red card. This card refers to mental and emotional strength, not just physical strength. It's about finding the inner strength to face your fears, overcome obstacles, and move through difficult times. This is a card this card is a call to dig deep into yourself and tap into the parts that are strong and courageous, even when you might not feel that way. You'll discover that you hold the strength and up to overcome whatever you're going through right now. And consciousness is on the other side of the book. And that's the energy that's leaving or that has, has previously happened. Consciousness, this is the present energy. Consciousness is our ability to feel and sense what is around us and within us, and to tap into a deeper universal connection. Allow yourself to go beyond yourself and your ego. Tune into this consciousness deeply as you move forward on your journey. And then what's coming is the energy card. When this card appears, it asks you to pay attention to the energy that either you've recently cultivated or would like to cultivate. Tap into the momentum of something that you've been working on. Get excited about a new project or even a seemingly mundane task like cleaning your home. Now is the time to pursue whatever's been calling to you. That's a really cool reading. And I will show you the cards again. You had strength. And I can't tell my left from my right. And then consciousness, which is a white card. And energy, which is an orange card. You're welcome. I like checking in with the cards. I've had some really interesting readings with this deck. Both for me and for other people. Well, it would help if I put the uh, lid back on the deck. But yeah, this is a uh, deck called the Prism Oracle. And it's called Tap Into Your Intuition with the Magic of Color. And you can't see it because it's green screened out. But um, I saw it and immediately fell in love with it because I love colors. I don't even want to know what my husband's giggling about. Anyways, let's head back to Sims 3. Oh... Let's see, I've been going for about two hours. This might be a good time to take a short break. What time is it? 9.13? Yeah, I need to stretch my legs. And then I'll come back and do a little bit more work. Um, so here's what we've got so far. We've got this weird sitting room that is super formal. I started on the porch. This is the keeping room. 
which as I said in their discord somebody was asking what a keeping room is it's basically traditionally a room um, where people can keep the chef company as they get the dinner ready so that's why it's right next to the kitchen it's basically a little common room I made it into a sitting room we've got this little breakfast nook and this really cool kitchen a pantry that needs work this is going to be a really rough build to finish um, and clutter and all the good stuff so I've got a good start on it but this is going to be tough because I have all of this to do this is the master bath this is the walk-in closet you had two tarot readings tell you exactly the same thing yeah that that always just makes you double take you know and then upstairs I need to do the floor up here still but the upstairs is open to down below and the stairs then we've got one two three bedrooms and a little loft area um and three bathrooms up here and three closets so yeah this is going to take quite a bit of work and only one of these upstairs ones is actually going to be a bedroom where i'll read you the prompt that we were given do 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 floor plan okay so the history and the family info Blair and Griffin recently found this dark Victorian home of their dreams abandoned off a hidden street growing with weeds they spent months fixing it up clad with jewel tones rich velvets and dark te textures together with their sha cats shadow and Luna they wanted to live a life of solitude among their many hobby rooms a full bar a writer's den an artist's retreat and even a room full of portraits until Blair's sister called and asked them to take her son William in William is a rebellious teen who lives his life in color. He loves to listen to loud music, skip school, and create as much as he can. Not only is Blair not family-oriented, and Griffin hates children, but they also need to convert Shadow and Luna's cat haven into William's new room, with the scratches and all. Now that William is setting in, he's starting to bring color wherever he goes. Blair has even told her sister he's taken over the he's starting to take over the whole first floor. Somehow this dark Victorian is starting to see the light. So Yeah. And this is a little linen closet. I was immediately excited about the whole prospect of getting to do it in jewel tones because jewel tones are um, one of my favorite things and that's why I like purple red and green hence the colors I kind of have chosen to do in this house um however it doesn't help that Sims does not have a whole lot of stuff that's in nice dark jewel tones. They tend to go with the bright stuff as opposed to the real jewel tones. Yeah, it's kind of a cool story. Oof, I really don't feel like doing the floor right now. But it kind of bothers me that it's not done. I'll get to it. Not a big deal. My birthstone is turquoise. Um, just occurred to me that I need to do... This. Right here. And this here. There, that makes a big difference.
yeah, I'm a fan of that. Just the little, the little tiny bit of delineation there. And this managed to get unpainted. That's okay. We can repaint it. Bob the Builder, we can build it. Or something like that. Trying to decide because I don't want to make this a wall because that's not in the floor plan. So a half wall makes more sense. So it doesn't look like I like added walls where they don't exist. Anyways, I am going to take a quick break just to go to the bathroom, stretch, take care of myself real quick, and then I will be back and we'll try to do some more building. So I will see you guys in a short moment.
I'm back, and Bruges is posting very silly jokes. I saw a car being driven by a sheep in a swimsuit. It's a lamb bikini. Good lord. I just took some leave. I'm honestly feeling like I'm getting a headache. And I think taking a break from this particular build is a is a really good idea at the moment. So I am going to switch and I'm going to work a little bit on my finale build. I only have so much time to do both of these builds and they're going, the third build is due the 21st. I don't remember when this fourth, when this, uh, this one's due. But this is a pier, an amusement park, an amusement park slash pier that I've been working on. And we're gonna just put this up in the air because this I've decided I don't like. I do not like at all. Build ceiling. Build ceiling. Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Now what to do with this roof? I kind of want to switch this. Change the fencing. up here. Oof, come on. I need this fence for here.
and then these columns need to go away. No, that's not going to work for me. Maybe these? Oh geez, what? Okay, this needs to come down and come all the way this way. Bruce's dad joke, yeah. Yeah, that one's maybe a little above and beyond. Okay, this I wanna put a ceiling on. Then copy this. Put you here. Take you down to that size. I don't know if I like that. What if I do this? Get rid of this. Um, didn't have alt press. There we go. Uh, take it down. To there.
Yikes. Definitely not that. And... Let's do this. Not there. Okay. That's not what I tried to grab. Wrong fence. You go here. Then... This... And that, and down here, oh shoot, just that, now I'm going to have to do the same fancy weirdness. Okay, this build ceiling. Build ceiling, click on that. I need this. Go there. Uh, not there. Click, click, and excuse me, click, click. Here and here. this this and this I will. Thank you, Bruce. Because this one I want to do. I think I'm going to do an art gallery here. Or something similar. Um. Okay, you take that one 
more out. You go down further. Now what do I want for the roof? Full fill. No, 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 no. Maybe that. With. Not helpful. Okay. Copy that. Put it there. Then give me this. Okay, got those. This. Whoops. Now, get that. I kind of think I like these. This one... To there... I'm not really going to stay up where it is. Get rid of this... And that... Then put in this, that, that, and that. Just like that. Um, I want to use Can I 
get this one to go where it needs to be. Okay. Come around here. Oops. Not that. Uh, you go there. Um, I need this there. Then this goes here. And here. Okay. <sighs> Fix this. Lastly, fix these. Um, yikes. This build is going to be so crazy. Hold on. Exterior trim needs to go there. No, let's not do that. Okay, this needs to scoot in. And that needs a fence. Hey, Sue Simmer, how are you? Wait. Oof. This one. All fixed. Then that goes for there. Nice. Except this needs. Let's do this. Okay, this. Copy. Come on. There we go. <laughs> what the plumber say to this thing are nice pipes. Good grief. Okay. Let's get this and this where they go. And this also needs to come up. Kind of forgot about that.
Yay, red! Oh, come on. Did I miss anything? No, not there. Any of these guys missed? No, we're good. I do like all the colors. This build just is right on for me. All the colors are super fun. Do not have the prize wheel up at this particular moment, but next time you're in chat, um, remind me and I will get you a spin for your prize for getting to toddler. In fact, I need to check and see who all is. I've been slacking on that. Very much so. But yeah, did you see? I made a carousel. How cute is this thing? A little carousel, a little ticket booth. I am so happy about this carousel. I don't know why, it just makes me absolutely ridiculously happy. Oh, yeah, it's somewhere. Oh, did it disappear? Yeah, we, it disappeared. We'll get a hot air balloon back. Yeah, this whole build is just. This is my finale build. And it is absolutely amazing. I'm super stoked about it. It is going to take a lot of work. How'd I do the Ferris wheel? That's from the new high school pack. And it is functional. And all of this is, um, all of this is without tool. I'm not allowed to use tool. But yeah, this is 100% this is functional. Um, although the build actually does not have to be functional. Um, this is like a little fishing shack. And then we've got like the boat rental. We've got some jet ski rentals. Um, this is a seafood restaurant. This is a bar. Um, this is the ticket booth and visitor information. And then I have a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's see. Currently planned. Uh, a boba tea store, which we now have in The Sims. Seafood, restaurant, cafe, thrift shop, souvenir gift shop, swim stuff, scuba shop. Um, an art gallery, the fishing store. The bar. Uh, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Possibly a wedding venue. I'm thinking maybe in this pink one. Um, maybe a museum. A salon and hair spa. Or salon or hair spa. Either way. An ice cream parlor. Candy store or bakery. Um, other ideas that have been suggested. Are a craft store. A toy store plant shop, a kids activity center so the kids can do something while the parents go shopping, a bookstore, and then I don't think we have enough games to do like a casino. But it would be really cool if we had like poker tables or something. I mean I could use the sabak tables but I don't know. That's kind of iffy. So basically this is one store here. This is all just a seafood restaurant. This is all one. This is all one. This is an upstairs and a downstairs store. So is this orange one. This is going to be all one store. This is all one. This is an upstairs and a downstairs. This is messed up. Actually, wait. 
I need to put a fence on that first. Do 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 do. No 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 no. Oh come on. You come over here, please. Perfect. Now I can scoop this in. To there. And then this is the bar, so it's all one. These are upstairs and downstairs as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I think. Either 18 or 19 stores. Slash venues. Most people fart around 14 to 23 times a day. Well? I mean, everybody does it. And it is about that time to start working on doors and windows and other stuff. This is going to have plants down the middle. Um, I do need to pick stairs for the rest of these and this guy needs decoration still. So we're getting there. That is a useless fact. Well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, I think my headache has not gotten any better. So I am going to call this here and see who to raid. Let's find my followers. There we go. I had a good time tonight. We got a lot done. So I count this as a win. Let's see. Oh, look who's building. Okay, do we want to watch gameplay or do we want to watch building? Yeah, I took some leave, so that should help. Um, let's see, Keisha is building. Um, Blake is doing his legacy play. And Kev is just chillin'. I'm thinking... I may go see me. Uh, I'm gonna go see Blake, I think. Depending on... Let me see how long they've been streaming. Okay, there's two hours. Or two and a half hours. It's an hour and a half. What about Kishi? Hmm, what are they building? Interesting. Hold on, I wanna go see what they're building. Marshmallow Coca-Cola? Please tell me this isn't a thing. What is Kev doing? Okay, we're gonna go see Kev, because I don't know what he's doing. Providing I can spell. Let me get my raid messages up. And thank you everybody for stopping by, hanging out, lending your support as I do these crazy builds. Um, 
it's been it's been a fun time um i find out on thursday so in two days whether i got through the second round so we will find out then he's working on cast and it's hilarious yeah i i have to go see this he doesn't do cast very often so i have to go see everybody take care of yourselves because you are important not only to me but to other people as well so have a really good evening take care of yourselves i will be back online tomorrow it's wednesday so i will be back online at five and i'll be doing some assassin's creed killing some stuff so i will see you guys then everybody take care i love every one of you have a really good night Put the necklace on. Let's have a kid.